Hello viewers, welcome back to our channel. Today, we embark on an enthralling journey through time to unveil the intricate origins and evolution of the Indian caste system. This complex social structure has significantly shaped the historical, cultural, and socio-economic landscape of India. Join us as we delve into the ancient scriptures, tracing the roots of the caste system back thousands of years to the sacred texts of Hinduism. Our journey commences in ancient India, where the Rig Veda provides glimpses into the social structure of the time. The term, Varna, emerges, dividing society into four primary groups, Brahmins, Kshatriyas, Vaishyas, and Shudras. Initially, these divisions were fluid, emphasizing natural aptitudes and talents. The Varnas were more like occupational categories, promoting a harmonious social order based on diversity and symbiotic coexistence. As we explore this early stage, it's crucial to understand that these divisions were not intended to be rigid or hierarchical. The Rigveda emphasizes the idea that these groups, or Varnas, were based on individuals' natural aptitudes and talents, forming a harmonious social order. The four Varnas mentioned in the Rigveda were the Brahmins, associated with priests and scholars, Kshatriyas, linked to warriors and rulers, Vaishyas, associated associated with trade, agriculture, and commerce, and shudras, involved in service roles, supporting the functioning of the entire society. As time progressed, the varnas crystallized into a more rigid system. The once fluid structure succumbed to stratification, with historical, cultural, and economic factors playing pivotal roles. The rise of dynastic rule led to the amalgamation of political and social power, with the Kshatriyas consolidating authority. To legitimize this authority, the concept of varna, became a tool for social control, transforming into a hereditary system tied to birth. The integration of local tribal communities further complicated the system, giving rise to the concept of jati, specific social groups with distinct occupations and roles. Occupational specialization solidified into hereditary professions, making social mobility increasingly difficult and perpetuating a rigid sense of hierarchy. The caste system provided a semblance of order and stability but also brought about inherent inequalities. The social hierarchy became deeply ingrained and mobility between castes became increasingly difficult. The prescribed duties and privileges associated with each caste created a framework that limited social mobility and perpetuated a sense of hierarchy. Moving into the medieval era, the caste system underwent further modifications with the influence of Islamic rulers. The fusion of Hindu and Islamic traditions added layers to the social hierarchy. Bhakti and Sufi movements emerged, challenging caste and religious barriers through devotion. Figures like Kabir and Guru Nanak advocated for a more inclusive and egalitarian society, challenging the rigid caste norms of their time. The arrival of European colonial powers in India during the 16th century marked another crucial chapter in the history of the caste system. The British, in particular, implemented administrative policies that categorized and classified communities based on caste, further institutionalizing social divisions. Colonial censuses and the implementation of policies like the Macaulay Minute had a lasting impact on the social structure, fostering a sense of hierarchy and reinforcing existing prejudices. The 20th century brought about significant social and political movements with leaders like Mahatma Gandhi emphasizing the need for social harmony and the eradication of untouchability. The post-independence era witnessed the incorporation of affirmative action policies to uplift marginalized communities, providing reservations in education and employment. While these efforts aim to address historical injustices, challenges persist. The India caste system continues to influence social interactions, political dynamics, and economic opportunities. Despite legal reforms and social initiatives, breaking free from the deeply ingrained caste mindset remains an ongoing struggle. It's essential to note that the caste system was not solely a Hindu phenomenon. It transcended religious boundaries, influencing other religious and cultural communities in India. Jainism and Buddhism, emerging as reform movements, sought to challenge the rigid caste structure and promote more egalitarian ideals. Yet, despite these reformative efforts, the caste system persisted, adapting to the changing socio-political landscape over the centuries. The evolution of the caste system reflects the ebb and flow of a nation's journey, marked by both progress and challenges. The British Raj introduced administrative classifications based on caste, creating a rigid system that extended beyond traditional varnas and jatis. This categorization had profound consequences, influencing social interactions, educational opportunities, and political representation. The colonial legacy perpetuated the hierarchical nature of the caste system, leaving an indelible mark on the socio-political landscape of independent India. The post-independence era in India 
India brought both hope and challenges in the quest for a more egalitarian society. The affirmative action policies implemented to address historical injustices included reservations in education, employment, and political representation. While these measures aimed to uplift marginalized communities, they also sparked debates about the effectiveness and potential drawbacks of such policies. The caste system's influence persisted as social mobility remained a complex issue. Despite legal reforms and social initiatives, breaking free from the deeply ingrained caste mindset became an ongoing struggle. Discrimination and prejudices associated with caste continued to influence social interactions, marriages, and economic opportunities. Leaders like B. R. Ambedkar played a pivotal role in shaping the post-independence discourse on caste. Ambedkar, the architect of the Indian constitution, advocated for the rights of the Dalits and other marginalized groups. His efforts led to the inclusion of affirmative action measures in the constitution, but the road to social equality remained arduous. In the contemporary landscape, the Indian caste system continues to shape societal structures, political dynamics, and cultural practices. While legal frameworks have sought to address discrimination, the caste mindset persists in various forms. Marriages, social gatherings, and even economic interactions often carry the shadow of caste considerations. The influence of caste extends beyond Hinduism and affects other religious and cultural communities in India. Despite efforts by reform movements within various religions, the deeply entrenched nature of the caste system poses challenges to achieving true social equality. Moreover, globalization and urbanization have brought both positive and negative impacts on the caste system. On one hand, increased education and awareness have challenged traditional caste norms. On the other hand, economic disparities persist and caste identities can still play a role in shaping one's opportunities and experiences. In the modern era, social and political movements have continued to challenge the deeply entrenched caste system. Leaders and activists have emerged to advocate for social justice, equality, and the eradication of caste-based discrimination. Movements like the Dalit Panthers in the 1970s sought to address systemic issues faced by the Dalits, advocating for their rights and dignity. The advent of technology and social media has played a transformative role in amplifying voices against caste-based discrimination. Platforms like Twitter and Facebook have become powerful tools for awareness, mobilization, and connecting individuals who share a commitment to dismantling the caste hierarchy. Additionally, globalization has brought new perspectives and international scrutiny to India's caste system. The diaspora, including individuals of Indian origin living abroad, has contributed to discussions on caste-related issues and provided support to various social justice initiatives within India. Despite the strides made by social movements, legal reforms, and technological advancements, challenges persist in dismantling the caste system's deep-rooted impact. The reservation system, while addressing historical injustices, has also faced criticisms for potentially perpetuating stereotypes and creating new forms of discrimination. Intercaste marriages, once taboo, are gradually gaining acceptance distance challenging traditional norms. However, societal attitudes and prejudices continue to hinder progress. Education and awareness campaigns play a crucial role in challenging ingrained beliefs and fostering a more inclusive society. As India continues to evolve economically and socially, the path to a caste-free society remains a complex and multifaceted journey. The importance of continued dialogue, education, and advocacy cannot be overstated in dismantling the caste mindset and fostering true social equality. In conclusion, the Indian caste system's evolution reflects the intricate interplay of historical, cultural, and socio-economic factors. While progress has been made, acknowledging the ongoing struggles is vital for fostering empathy and understanding. The journey towards a more equitable society requires collective efforts, and as we navigate the complexities of the Indian caste system, we recognize the importance of staying informed, engaged, and committed to the principles of justice and equality.